up guys welcome back to the channel and today we're doing a video for the boys if you ever wanted to take your girl out on a date and really impress her but then you look at the menu and it's like oh my god that's crazy expensive you know you just don't want to do it sometimes but what's more impressive is if you can cook the food yourself and you know in this case we're making pasta at home homemade pasta what else could be more impressive I mean nothing's gonna get a girl ready to hang out with you like homemade pasta. I mean, who else can do that except for you after you watch this video? So anyways, homemade pasta, super easy. And we're gonna make something absolutely incredible. If you guys like seafood, it's seafood pasta. We're talking scallops, big old shrimp, and crab meat, and your delicious fettuccine Alfredo. What could be better? Nothing. Watch the video, wait till the end to see how amazing it is. Let's get started. First thing you need is a very clean countertop that you thoroughly cleaned and then bleached and then wiped down with water to make sure there's nothing on it. So it's clean, wash our hands. Then we start with 400 grams of flour, which is about three cups. Put that on the table, turn it into a mountain, then poke a hole in the middle. Next up, we're gonna add four eggs. You can whisk it, you can use a fork. I'll just use a whisk because I already had a whisk. Most people use a fork. Slowly incorporate your flour to your egg mixture. Okay, now we can't whisk it very well anymore. So, do some pasta making. Incorporate it in. I burned enough calories to eat it. <laughs> Woo! Put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. All right, so the dough is in the fridge waiting for 30 minutes, and in that time, we're gonna sear our scallops and shrimp for a pasta. Let's get to it. All right, the pan is nice and hot now. We're gonna. I use olive oil spray. You can use regular olive oil. I just like how this spreads around and coats the pan. And we'll just put a nice layer of olive oil there. A nice layer here. Okay, starting to smoke. Throw our scallops in. We're gonna reduce the heat a little bit. Throw our scallops in. Give it a little swirl. Nice. A shrimp here. Get the shrimp. temperature back up in here. Get a bowl for the stuff to go into once we're done. For our seasoning, we're going with some salt, just some basic salt, use whatever kind of salt you want. A little bit of garlic powder, some of this Italian seasoning, which is just a mix of dry herbs that you usually find in Italian seasoning. And then some black pepper, and then some smoked paprika. There you go, that's your seasoning. Mix it up. Taste it. Tastes good. Once we got a nice little sear on our scallops, we're gonna flip them over. Put them nice with the vine. And then we're gonna turn the heat down a little bit. There you go. And then for the shrimp, we'll do the same thing. We'll just spray some olive oil. Put them over. Pretty much cooked already. You don't want to overcook them. Then we're we'll putting the heat down on this. Heat it, heat it off on this one. We'll let it sear a little bit. We're gonna mix them together in a minute. All 
Our scallops are mostly cooked all the way through, but they're not fully, fully cooked. They're nicely seared on both sides, as you can see. The shrimp are cooked most of the way through as well, with a little bit of sear. Now we're just gonna add our scallops and our shrimp together here. Turn on the heat to low heat. We're gonna take a good chunk of butter, about that much of a stick. We're just gonna let that melt in with our scallops. And then we're gonna take a little bit more, we're gonna add a little bit of butter to our other pan where the scallop was uh, seared so we can get that juice up into this other pan. And over here, with the scallops. Let's take all that scallop. Grab all that flavor. Got the butter melting, smells delicious. Low heat, and then at the same time we're gonna add our We'll add our onions into this. We'll also add our garlic. All that garlic goes in there. So, so this is on low, low heat. We're just gonna let this cook really slow and just let the flavors absorb with the butter and everything all the onions and garlic and then we have one more thing we need to add of course our seasoning which we made a little bit earlier we've got our seasoning here we'll go ahead and season mm, our... i smell it it's really good yeah we're adding our seasoning pasta ingredients really I'm still crying from those onions this will slowly get our ingredients all up to temperature and up to a nice flavor. So we're just adding some rosemary, fresh oregano, and some Italian parsley as a mix, which we will add to our ingredients that are already cooking. Here's some Italian parsley. For the Italian parsley, I, I like to get mostly the leaf, less stem. Oh, yeah, it's good. This is fresh, of course. So when you baste a steak, if you ever had a French kind of style steak where they baste it in the butter with the rosemary and stuff, this is kind of what we're doing. We're putting this flavor into the butter and the ingredients that we're cooking right now. And I'm actually gonna chop it up pretty finely, spread it around so that the flavor really gets with the garlic, the onion, and then with the seafood we're cooking. And this flavor is gonna go directly into the pasta sauce, as you'll see. Once we get to cooking the pasta. All right, here we go. So we got our mix here. We'll throw in the pasta. And it's simmering here. So we're just gonna put this in there. Wow, that's so colorful. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix it in. There you go. That's all butter, garlic, onion, and of course some seafood in there. I'm turning the heat real low. We're just gonna let that infuse this actually into the pasta ingredients here. All right, so I've got it on low heat. I'm gonna let this all cook for a while. It's gonna infuse all the flavors together. And then we're waiting for our pasta to finish. It's 30 minutes in the fridge. We got about 10 minutes left. And uh, we'll make our pasta, make our Alfredo sauce, and then get straight to eating. Make sure you wait till the end to see the eating part. Now that the seafood is done cooking, let's go ahead and take it out of the pan. We're just gonna take them and put them in a bowl, delicately. Try to leave as much butter in the pan as you can. So this butter is infused with garlic, onion, seafood flavor, as well as all the herbs we added, as well as seasoning. So, this is a very delicious butter that we have going on here. Now we're gonna utilize this. We're gonna turn the pan back on. So here we have heavy cream. We're gonna add some of our heavy cream. Mmm, it's so heavy. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we have this Italian blend. You can use pretty much any kind of cheese. You know, different kinds of Asiago and Parmesan and blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna add it to make it cheesy. A good amount of cheese here. Medium, low heat. 
We have here some ricotta. We're gonna add some of my ricotta cheese. There you go. Go to my ricotta cheese. Here we have, you know, processed Parmesan. You can use fancier Parmesan if you want, but if you wanna keep it on a budget, this'll just do. Let's add a good amount of this. Mix that all up here. making the sauce here for our pasta. Now that's on low heat. We're gonna turn the heat down a bit. Let's get over here and make some mushrooms. Let's go ahead and throw this into the pasta. So we're just gonna add some flour on our countertop here. That was horrible. Add a little bit of flour on our pasta. And then we're gonna cut it into three-ish pieces. Look at that, looks pretty good to me. Now we're gonna go ahead and roll it out a little bit. We're gonna start flattening out our pasta. We're gonna start at level eight on the pasta flattener. Try to get it in there to go straight in. Oh, that's great. That's not great. Go one more time. There we go, that's good. All right, guys, now we have got our pasta layers, our sheets spun out. It is time to make the actual pasta pasta, meaning switching attachments from the flattener to the pasta maker. Or I guess they call it a cutter, I don't know. Here we go. Turn it on one. Let this bad boy rip. <laughs> Then you take your pasta and you put it on your pasta dryer rack. I feel Italian right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get this guy in there real nice and smooth. Very nice. guys so I've got this crab claw meat from Phillips it's pre-cooked you can use a can of uncooked or pre-cooked but you just want to add some crab to your sauce then you know do as you got to do just make sure it's cooked when you add it in there in our case it's already cooked so we're just gonna go ahead and this is really easy this is really nice because it is cooked it's gonna add that nice crab flavor see that's like a can pop it open um right here that's just claw meat right there whoa Mmm, smells a bit crabby. You can probably eat this. Mmm, not bad. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that in. Since it's already cooked, we don't really have to worry too much, which is nice. And it's gonna add a lot of crab meat, right, to our food and crab flavor. We have this on low, we're just gonna simmer it, let those crab juices infuse. We're also going to re-add our scallops and shrimp. We're gonna re-add those. Oh yeah. Let's get those nice and infused with our seafood sauce. Talk about something delicious. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. It looks really good, it's so creamy. Mm-hmm. I'm surprising myself. 
So, we're doing seafood, so why not add some lemon juice to our concoction here. I'm just gonna add some lemon juice, fresh squeeze right there. That's really good. Just gonna bring out those seafoody flavors. So, it's finally time to add our pasta. We've got our water boiling with salt in it. We're gonna add our freshly made pasta. It's been drying for about 10 minutes here on this drying rack. So gently lay it in and we're gonna cook it until it's uh, you know perfectly cooked, al dente I guess you would say. Just add that in there. There's such a big difference when you cook pasta that you made by hand and when you cook pasta that you bought at the store. Because when you made it by hand, it's like your baby. I mean you just want to make sure it cooks right and you're really invested in the success of that pasta because it took a lot of work <laughs> it took a lot of work to get here it's a different experience go ahead and mix it up a little bit make sure they all float uh, what does that guy say doesn't matter if you can swim everybody get in <laughs> we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and mix it up so it doesn't stick together And then we'll add a little bit of we'll add a little bit of white truffle oil. That'll make it taste a little bit, a little tiny bit of that. Now we're ready to put together our pasta. Dish. We're gonna go ahead and add a good amount of our pasta here. Sauce. All right, you guys, that was a, a little bit of work, kind of a lot, but I gotta say, I'm super excited. I mean, it smells great, and I can't lie, I did take a little bit of a taste while I was <laughs> cooking it, and, well, it's amazing. I haven't taken a full bite yet, but it's time to take a bite of this delicious pasta that we worked for. Wow. Let's just try the pasta. Mmm. <laughs> That's amazing. Just with the sauce. Okay, let's do it with some seafood. Let's eat it with a scallop. That's a delicious bite right there, a scallop on the end of my fork. Mm. Mm. I'm jealous right <laughs> There's a lot of curse words that can want to come out of my mouth about how good this is. <laughs> That's actually insane. The scallop perfectly cooked. The seafood pasta sauce has crab in it. So you have that crab seafood flavor in there, that sweetness of the crab claw. Basically the butter we cook, you know, all the seafood in is what made up the sauce. So it's just seafood embedded in here. But when you eat the scallop, you get that burst of scallopy seafoodness, which is just absolutely delicious. My mouth is actually watering right now, waiting for a <laughs> second bite. <laughs> I almost can't talk. That's incredible. I gotta say, is it worth it to make your own pasta? Yes. If you have the time and you have the patience, it really isn't that hard. Uh, you don't really have to use one of these, but it comes in handy. Otherwise, you know, you have to roll it out a lot and then cut it up and all that stuff. But if you do have one of these or you can afford to invest in one of these, it might be worth it because this is super fun on the weekend, especially if you and your girl or you and your potential girl want to have a date and you want to impress her. Or maybe family, you know. Or family, right? Imagine your parents. They thought you were a loser, but wait till they taste this pasta. Not a loser anymore. <laughs> it's just amazing. You, it, It's totally different. I, I'll tell you this. The pasta, the texture, the taste of this pasta that you make yourself, it's totally different than what you buy in the store. You boil it in the pot. Is it, you know, a hundred times different? No, I would say it's like 50 times different. It's, it's just a different experience. You can tell the difference. If I were to blind taste test this, homemade pasta with the same sauce and everything against a store-bought pasta, I could tell the difference. I don't think I've ever really had fresh homemade pasta like this before, but it's incredible. It's a totally different thing. This pasta was amazing. I hope you try it at home. It'll be absolutely worth it. And if you like the video, make sure you hit subscribe. You don't even have to leave a like. Just hit subscribe, super easy, one click, boom, everybody gets good karma and we'll all be happy. Also, if you have any questions about anything that I missed in the video, leave it in the comments down below and I'll make sure I 
hit you back up about it and give you an answer. That's it for me today. I'm out. I gotta eat this pasta because I am starving. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey,